Oh, well, I've, I've kind of bumped into the system once or a few years ago. Um, I was apprehended, I use the word apprehended. I was apprehended by the police for, and this is why I've had such a problem with it, because I never really had got a reason for why I was apprehended. But I was apprehended with force. They didn't announce themselves. Uh, I was arrested, took to the police station, didn't have any contact with anyone. They wouldn't speak to me as if I was a human being. I thought, I felt as if I was a, being treated like a piece of meat, like a bit of an animal. And throughout that process of being in a cell, um, apparently a doctor came to see me and kind of just looked at me, stared at me, just like they were staring at me, and decided I needed sectioning. So I was sectioned by the police, ended up in the mental health unit at the General Hospital, and I was there, like, it was mandatory for me to stay there. Um, they said I could appeal, but if I lost the appeal, I'd be in there for six months, no less than six months. So I just thought, let me just ride this out. Um, throughout my time, I was only there for three weeks, but it, it felt like a, a lifetime to me. Um, throughout that time, I was pumped full of just sleeping pills, um, kept me quite uh, bedridden, I'd say. Kept me bedridden for the majority of my time there. Uh, and then I was never diagnosed either, so they kind of just, when I left, when I left, just before my 20th birthday, I think it was, um, I was, had prescriptions for uh, medication for like schizophrenia, um, among other things, but that was the most predominant one that kind of, and because they'd never diagnosed me and really found out what was wrong with me, obviously I was being ill-treated by the medication that was prescribed to me. So weird thing is the side effects of schizophrenic medication is hallucinations and hearing voices. So when the doctors came to see me and they said, well, how are you feeling? How's the medication? I'd say, oh, I feel as if people are, something's touching me or like, I don't know if I'm hearing, if someone's next door, I can hear the conversation next door because of thin walls or whatever. But it made the situation worse than better. And I think it would have been better if I could have got properly diagnosed or if I was just handled better by the police rather than just being, oh, let's just section him because we didn't really go through procedure and we don't want that getting out. Let's just try and stick him somewhere where no one's going to listen to him. And it kind of kind of fell back on myself and it took me a very long time to get back onto my feet. And so it's only now, it's been like two and a half years, I think now, something like that. And it's only now I'm starting to feel like myself again. Because obviously it takes quite a long time for this medicine to get out of your system. But um, that's my experience with the system.